So as everyone knows, it's been a real rough period for crypto investors, and many are actually saying, though, that this turmoil is, is having something of a cathartic effect, right? In the sense that, listen, it gets rid of the poorly run coins and companies and even some bad actors. Meanwhile, the community itself has really turned into a whole bunch of individual tribes, uh, a lot of believers, of course, committed to their favorite coins. In fact, yesterday I read where a well reportedly bought 20 million uh, Shiba Inu uh, for 210 million. That would have been the largest purchase in history there. I do want to bring in now Hex.com founder Richard Hart. You know, Richard, uh, you are the man behind Hex, uh, and it's been some tough sledding for you like everyone else of late. Uh, just tell us exactly, you know, what it is, why you created it. Well, I mean, Bitcoin's got a lot of stuff it can't do. So, you know, right now you're seeing everyone lose all their money, and I do mean all of their money, uh, to people that said they would give them more coins. They tried to earn yield on their Bitcoin. They gave their keys to somebody else, which is the opposite of why crypto is invented. It was invented to get rid of middlemen. So what does everyone do? They give their keys to middlemen that have a good story. They're going to give you some interest. Some well, people... I invented something that okay. I gave for free to Bitcoin holders that let them generate yield okay. by holding their own keys without giving them to somebody else. So I I've, I've did some research, easy? and I want to just ask you about a couple of things because uh, mm -hmm. You've got some detractors out there. It might be a, 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 a easy way of saying it. And I saw one article in one FI, uh, one FI titled Richard Hart's Hex Token is a brilliant scam. It says that the biggest problem mm -hmm. with Hex is that the answers you just referred to being paid, uh, but the token doesn't generate revenue. So the only place money can come from is other investors. That would be a Ponzi sure. scheme, no matter how much you spend it. Uh, and then, no, of course, it goes on to say you laid on a Ponzi scheme thick. Is. What do you say to, to an article like that? Is. What do you say to an article like that? Everyone, everyone misuses these words. A Ponzi scheme is a fraudulent endeavor where people are told they're going to get pay more from a business activity that doesn't really exist. It's fraudulent. And there's a middleman that pays you your rewards. The family likeness test would say that Hex is most similar to Bitcoin, where miners create money out of thin air and pay themselves their own rewards through the fruits of their own labor. And therefore, since there's no middlemen, since you mint your own coins, it cannot be a Ponzi. It can be a bubble, which is why the price drops 85% every three or four years, but then it goes on to make new all-time highs. So Bitcoin's dropped 85% three or four times now, and yet it's gone up 690 million percent from a penny to $69,000. And so all, all Hex is is Bitcoin with a proof of work change where we pay people inflation right. to hold the price up through staking instead of paying them to destroy the environment through SHA-256 mining. So That's all it is. It's I'm, Bitcoin I'm, with a proof of work change. I've been bringing a lot of folks on in your space because I'm trying to learn all of this. And again, mm -hmm. when people found out you were coming on, I got a whole bunch of articles. There's another one I want to ask you about because, uh, listen, obviously you've got a pretty strong following, but uh, there was one in AZ Coin. Uh, and this is 2019. It's, and it says, worrisome, Hex founder Richard Hart was revealed to be a notorious scammer known as the Spam King. Again, listen. I got sued for $500 in civil court 20 years ago, and I couldn't pay for a lawyer to defend myself because in small claims court, you can't have a lawyer defend you. Okay. Very, it would have cost me more than $500 to fly to Washington to go win the case. So where I do don't think being sued for 500 bucks in small claims court makes you a Spam King. Richard, where, where do we go from here? Uh, uh, with respect to the overall crypto space, Bitcoin, and Hex itself? I called, I called the top on the day. Everyone else told you Bitcoin was going to 100,000. I told you it was going down to 10,000. Why? Because it drops 85% every once in a while. But people, they forget that that happens. They always think that this time's different. Nope, this time's not different. Are people paying million dollars for JPEGs or more accurately, serial numbers loosely related to JPEGs, which may or may not still be hosted on the internet? Yes, they are. As long as people are doing that, you have to have a crash. The reality will not but, let but, idiots but, that buy JPEGs for a million dollars for, survive. For Hex, right? I understand you control like 80, 88 percent. Oh, Hex. People want to know as they're getting in, are you not getting out? The best time. Oh, the origin address has never sold a single Hex. Vitalik dumps Ethereum on your head all the time. The Ethereum Foundation dumps Ethereum on your head all the time. Chainlink founder dumps Chainlink on your head all the time. The, the origin address in Hex has never sold a single coin. Ever. If you want to know who's dumping, just go look. It's all on chain. All of Hex's trading is on chain. Unlike that crap that you see, the fake volume and fake exchange trading you see for all the other coins. All of our stuff's on, on chain. You can see who sold, when they bought, what other coins they like, when they're locked up for. It's, more, it's a miracle. It's the most transparent trading in the entire industry. All right. Hey, that's all the time we have. I appreciate you coming on. And I, and I do say... You know I called the top on the day, right? 
I, I, I did mean, not we'll know get, that. Did I did not know that. I'm waiting I for you to call. The price, I thought you were going to come on the, the show and call the bottom, though. That's what I'm looking for. I'll call the bottom when it's 11K. All right, and cool. And then maybe we go a little deeper. Sounds See good. You, Richard, Pleasure. thank you very much. All right, folks, of course, I want to hear from you all the time, no matter